Hey everyone, welcome to episode 63 of the Fight Library. On today's episode, we have Brandon Gertz, Bellator's lightweight fighter. Brandon just got off of a win over Saad Awad in his last event. That was at Bellator 219, so it was the last Bellator card. Second to the last now that Bellator 220 happened. Anyhow, Brandon is a good guy. We talked about a good bit of things, you know, how he got started, the huge. Uh, talked about his win and how he thought he could have done better and what he thinks he's going to do in the future. Um, so if you like this episode, please drop a sub. If you love this episode, drop a review. It's great for the channel. Um, so without further ado, Brandon Gertz. I'm here with Brandon Gertz. He just come off a win against Sada Wad at Bellator 219, the main event, a unanimous decision. What's going on, Brandon? Not much, my man. Just just chilling, doing some house house light, house home and owning shit. <laughs> man, so after you done fighting, you 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 got your alter ego of an everyday regular guy, right? Yeah, yeah. All that I gotta take care of all the things I've been neglecting before the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Camps, take up your time, dude. So let me ask you this, dude. For everybody who doesn't know you, how did you get involved in like MMA and stuff? What what was it that drove you to fighting? Um, really the competition and just I mean, after I mean, I wrestled in college and after wrestling, it was kind of you know there's only a few avenues you know to go after that Olympics or things like that, which are obviously grueling in themselves and not so many you know people people make that you know and MMA was kind of you know right thereafter it was kind of a natural transition you know and I've always you know fighting has just kind of always been a part of me man I'm not I didn't train to be a fighter I haven't you know not one of those people that just you know trained so much they're good at it you know like this is just something you know I've been fighting since I was five how long did you wrestle for I I started I started wrestling in 10th grade so and then wrestled throughout college where'd you go to college uh, Minnesota Mankato. Okay, okay, cool, cool. That's what's up, man. I've been getting into college wrestling a lot, man. I was, I, I was sick um, last month during March Madness, and I watched basketball. I'm like, man, I'm so tired of watching basketball. I found wrestling. I'm, like, I'm gonna watch this and figure out what's going on because I'm more of a jujitsu guy. And I was like, holy crap, this is crazy. I like this. And like everybody was on the mat at the same time and stuff, man. It was wild. Oh yeah, it can, it can get intense. It can get intense. That's for sure. Cool man. Well, congratulations on the win against Saad. Saad's a tough opponent, dude. He he he's tough. He's durable, and he's always throwing bombs, man. And I know through your through Instagram, you told me you you felt like you should have finished him away. Walk me through that. Why'd you think you should have put it away? Uh, you know, that was just in in my head. I was knocking him out. You know, there was no there was nothing left. You know, not not to even joke right now. Even the last few weeks, I mean, I haven't even been satisfied with the win. You know, because yeah. in my head. You know, it was knockout or bust, you know. So right. I just finally, and not, no joke, in the last day or so, I've been able to, you know, I've been able to be at peace with I didn't get the knockout, you know. Like, it's it, it was tough, you know. And just given, you know, how, how it played out, and he was, I mean, I've seen his eyes go closed a couple times. You know, <laughs> he, was, he, was, he was out, you know, but he came back. Came back like the Terminator, man. So, I mean, hats <laughs> off, hats off. That's off to him, you know. He, I knew he was a tough opponent, you know. But um, like I said, I was I was just going I was going for the knockout, you know. That was that's how I fight, you know. That's how I that's how I prepare. I'm I'm going in there to take take the other man out, you know. So I was definitely disappointed that you know he came back alive a few times, you know. Man, yeah, it was it was a great fight. I watched it I think twice over. And it's just you you stayed calm in there even though, you know, you weren't having your way. Um yeah, because you wanted the knockout. So I, I was really impressed by that. I was like, man, because you've been in big fights, man. You fought Chandler. I mean, you fought pretty much the best Bellator has to offer, which is great now. Bellator has great talent. Um, I mean, for your future, man, do you do you feel like you're staying in Bellator? You want to explore other avenues like one or maybe UFC? Oh, uh, you know, you never you never know where your journey takes you, you know. But with Bellator, I mean, it, it's definitely my home. I mean, I've been there. You know, I can't even, I don't even know, six, seven years now. 
You know, it's been, it's been a long time and they've taken care of me and they've only been, you know, taking care of me more, you know, so it's only, it's made sense. I feel like I've made a fan base in Bellator. Um, and like I said, I, I know the people that then they've taken care of me well. So I, I don't, I don't see myself. I, I hope I don't go nowhere, you know, but I'm, I'm, I'm a fighter, you know, I'm here to fight and, uh, you know, whatever, whatever organization wants to, you know, pay, pay me for my skills the most. That's, that's where I go. <laughs> Man, see, I've talked to a lot of Bellator fighters, and a lot of them feel the same way. Even some guys that came from the UFC over to Bellator feel that way about them. It's, it seems like a great company, man. Scott Coker's doing it right over there. Yeah, it's, you know, it's it's finally, it's just, you know, especially coming up with fighting, we got to remember it. I mean, we've all been fighting. has been around for a long time, but the, Uf, the UFC and everything's only been around for a few years. You know, and um, it's 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 been around a while now, a few decades, but it's still so new in the world of sports. You know, so with that, there's you know you had the big dog UFC, and of course they they've been doing it for the longest. It's going to be hard to run with them, but finally with Scott Coker and Bellator, you finally there's another company that at least you know has recognition. You know, it's it's uh, building, and other fighters can go there and they can get paid. At the end of the day, you know, this is our living. We have to put. We have to put food on the table. We got to do those types of things. And who wants to pay for our services the most or treat us well, you know, that that's where people are going to go. And they're seeing another avenue in Bellator. Yes, man, I, I agree with you 100%. So let me ask you this now. What's next for you? Um, I'm not asking, like, are you going anywhere or anything? But, like, is there somebody else that you'd like to fight? Or is that you going to take some time off? What you got? Um, I'm looking to fight, you know, um, end of summer, you know, as soon, obviously Bellator, we took a little summer break. There's not many fight cards in the summer and I'm, I'm looking to get right back to it, you know, uh, beginning of August, end of July, you know, um, as of names, I just want, I want top guys, you know, I'm, I'm here to fight. I'm here to fight the top Bellator's got, I'm here to, you know, prove that eventually I'll get that shot back at Michael Chandler. Yeah, that was a tough one, man. You look good in that fight too, up until the, you know, one second. Um, so you, back in 2017, you did go through a bit of a rough patch. Um, you did, you had a three fight skid, but you, you seem to have bounced back now. You're two and one since then. I mean, what's your mindset, uh, going into that first win, getting out of that skid? How, how, what was, what was on your mind there, bro? Uh, you know, like you said, there was definitely some skids there, but it, it, it was just crazy times. I mean, some of those fights I felt great in, you know, one of those losses was to Derek Campos and I, it was due to a cut given that I felt, you know, nothing changed and I should have, you know, I was winning that fight, you know, um, I felt great there, you know, I had another one where I went up in a weight class and fought a, another, I fought a guy 20 pounds heavier, another a fight where I got 10 takedowns, I felt like I won, you know, another, another fight and with the Chandler, you know, my, I, my shoulder blew out, I felt great until that happened. I feel like there's been, you know, there's been some small little things that didn't go my way, you know, some crazy circumstances, which are life, you know, something, something you can do everything right and do everything even better and they don't go your way, you know, so that's what I've been focusing on. That's why you've seen, you know, one of my, you know, knockout or a fight like me and me and Saad, it's, uh, you know, I've been getting better, you know, and um, this has some crazy circumstances really. And, um, you know, with injuries and things like that that I've been coming back from. Um, you see a healthy me, man. It's gonna be, it's it's gonna be a crazy year. All right, man. Last question for you, real quick. Here, you've got um, a big fight coming up for Bellator. You've got your guy you were talking about earlier, Michael Chandler. He's taking on uh, Patricio Pitbull, and that's gonna be a hell of a fight. Give me your take on that one. Uh, yeah, I think it's a great fight. I got respect for both those fighters. They're both great fighters. I. Uh, I definitely put my money on Chandler. I think he's just too too big and powerful for for uh, Patricky. Um, you know, I think Patricky usually is used to being the more powerful and and stronger stronger guy out there, and I don't I don't see that happening here. Um, I think I think to beat Chandler, you know, you need to be a I think you need to be able to know his wrestling, you know, and things like that. And I definitely don't see Patricio being able to do that. I don't think. You know, unless Chandler really gets clipped with something, which I don't see, I see Chandler being able to being able to um, dictate the whole fight. Great man. Well, look, I appreciate your time. Real quick, uh, give me uh, give me where everybody can find you on social media. Oh uh, yeah, you just check me out at uh, Brandon Gertz MMA on you know Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Easy as that. Easy as that. 
Well, Brendan, I appreciate it, man. I'm a huge fan. I'm looking forward to your next fight, and uh, best of luck to you, brother, all right? All right, brother. I appreciate it, man. You have a good rest of your day, man. You too. Take it easy. All right, so that is a fantastic episode. I am happy that we d- 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 dropped it. Um, make sure you follow Brendan on all of his social media. It helps these fighters out tremendously. So also, yeah, like that, um, Tang Tungle. Woo, weird. Anyways, make sure to follow us on social media as well, Fight Library underscore on Instagram, Blaine Henry MMA on Twitch. Um, and you can also find me at Kicks and Kimura on Facebook. YouTube's there too. You can follow me at Fight Library on there. Um, also follow Swamp Stank. Swamp Stank's the best band in the world. Uh, they provide the music for our intro for our podcast because guess what we're doing? We're doing something different. That's right. We are doing a new thing. I'm taking um, these these different bands and putting them on at the end of the episode. So guess what? We have today Stormland. Um, Stormland is a friend of mine, Justin Perro's band, and they uh, they they're pretty jamming. So yeah. Anyways, this is Hero Terror Tactics by Stormland. Enjoy. Right now, you're the perfect. But when it's gone, I'll be a monster. It's right. 